You hear a loud, loud thump, a loud noise. That loud thump is the sound of a bird hitting an aircraft. And according to the Federal Aviation Administration, it's becoming a more common occurrence for pilots. Since the birth of aviation, planes have been competing with birds for airspace. Back in September 1905, Orville Wright wrote in his diary about hitting a flock of birds while flying over a cornfield near Dayton, Ohio. There was no damage to his plane, but modern day aircraft aren't always as lucky. Yeah, the FAA says thousands of bird strikes from both commercial and private aircraft are reported to the agency every year. We go in depth on how birds are compromising air travel safety and the technology and tools in place to prevent a catastrophic collision. A lot of people closing their eyes and trying to text their loved ones. Greg Carfagna was a passenger on American Airlines flight 1958. The Boeing 737 had just taken off from Columbus, Ohio, the morning of April 23rd, 2023, when Greg heard a loud thud. On the ground, video taken from the campus of The Ohio State University shows flames spewing from the right side of the aircraft. You could see where the birds hit. Um, it wasn't all that pleasant. The FAA says bird strikes are a growing concern due in part to increasing populations of large birds and a trend toward faster and quieter aircraft. Wildlife and, uh, and aircraft don't mix very well. In Florida, Sarasota Bradenton Airport President Rick Piccolo has seen his fair share of bird strikes. In 2019, the airport took a step to improve safety by using a $9 million FAA grant to shrink a pond near the runway that attracted birds. Other ways the FAA is trying to protect aircraft include modifying aircraft flight schedules and using dogs or loud noises to chase birds away. We try to reinforce this, you know, daily, um, you know, keep as much wildlife away from the airport as possible. Michael Parento is the wildlife biologist for Bradley Airport in Connecticut. Each day, his crews survey the land on and around the airport looking for threats. Kind of fine tune it to why are we seeing this wildlife here? you know, come up with a reason and then either alter the habitat on the airfield or remove it completely. Airports also work with the federal government to relocate nests and at times even resort to lethal removal for species such as Canada geese. That's because Canada geese can weigh up to 12 pounds and are capable of taking out a jet's engine. The aviation experts we spoke to say flocks of birds are even more dangerous because they can result in multiple strikes. Pilot and aviation expert Jim Rosman says he's experienced two bird strikes in his career. One hit the plane's fuselage and the other hit the plane's nose. He says he barely noticed the strikes until he saw feathers. If multiple birds had been involved, he said it would have been a much different story. The engines would have been okay had they just struck one goose, but they encountered a flock of geese. Rosman is talking about the miracle on the Hudson. Retired airline captain Chesley Sullenberger was inside the cockpit on January 15, 2009, when U.S. Airways Flight 1549 hit a flock of birds so large it took out both engines. Sullenberger landed the aircraft on the Hudson River. Everyone on board survived. The plane's wreckage now sits in an aviation museum in Charlotte, North Carolina, named for Sullenberger. Sullenberger says what happened during that flight should serve as a reminder to all pilots. We have to make sure that we always have a strong human component to our technological systems. The aviation experts we spoke to say most bird strikes happen between July and November when migratory traffic is high. And the FAA says about 63% of bird strikes occur during the day, usually when planes are landing.